Hey, it's Amanda Henderson and I am doing the 21 day fix and today I completed day 13. So today of course is the 14th and I'm giving you a rundown of day 13 and how it went for me. And I'm just gonna tell you about my meal plan because that's what I'm really focusing on. I do do the workouts, although I also teach group fitness. So I am also doing other workouts and leading in other classes. I'm also a Beachbody coach and this is why I'm checking out the 21 day fix because it's part of the programs that we offer and I wanna make sure that I know everything about the program and how it works so I can help other people succeed with this program as well. So if that's what you're interested in, or if you are a fitness professional, or even just health conscious and, and want to know more about this, just contact me and I'll leave my information at the end of the video. So on day um, 13, I had a Shakeology for breakfast, of course, and I love to change it up with just dropping in, here's my little tip, is dropping in um, extracts. So you can use a mint extract sometime or almond or, you know, a mix of, I like coconut, raspberry, um, banana. So good in my chocolate Shakeology. So good. And I like the vegan chocolate over the regular chocolate because I feel like the chocolate is way too chocolate. The vegan is a little creamier. Just a note for me. All right. So I'm looking at my notes because I write it all down on my pages to know exactly what I ate so I can look back if I want to. What I love about it, the program, is that I can mix and match. I can make and design my own. Whereas the 21 day um, uh, reset that Beachbody offers is totally different. It's a cleaning out system. It's a detox and it's not really meant to like lose a ton of weight or anything like that. Like this program is supposed to help you to learn how to eat properly so that you will burn the fat rather than just eating the fat, right? So the, um, the reset is more about um, clean, doing a cleanse and a detox for yourself. So I highly recommend it, but you're eating a sp specific diet more than coming up with your own. So what I had was, um, oh, I skipped my snack. Somehow I probably, was to, yeah, I was teaching. There you go. And so um, for lunch, I had um, hard boiled eggs and vegetable soup. I made my own. And then I had um, some cheese with it. So I went with that. And then for my snack, I had um, another orange bread, pretty similar to my previous day. I just kind of copied it, except for at night, I went out to um, a restaurant and I ended up having um, a burger without the bun, I had lettuce and tomato, and it also came with an egg, and I made sure my portion sizes were correct, okay, on that, and then I also had, I included the lettuce and tomato in one of my vegetables because there was a lot of it, and then I also had broccoli on the side, so that counted as another vegetable, and then that was it, and then for a snack at night, I just had some peanuts and some chocolate chips, and it was sufficient, so I had a really great um, day 13, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow, although tomorrow for me, it's gonna be Easter and that's really hard. So if you're doing this alongside of a vacation or a holiday, you're gonna see exactly what I experienced when I go through it. So you're gonna to have to check that out tomorrow. So here we go. I hope I can handle it. I know it's gonna be a struggle, but we all struggle every day. So it doesn't even have to be a holiday, but we know we struggle with our specific things that get us. So we just have to be a little bit smarter and outwit. I hope I can do it tomorrow. See ya.